Alright, welcome back to a new tutorial and today we are going to be recreating this logo over here miners haven new heights is by a designer named unite um so yeah let's get started i am going to copy the background color and we're just gonna start off with some text so let's type out um robots visuals and let me see if i have an 8-bit font let me just scroll through my fonts list all right so i didn't have one so i just went ahead and downloaded this one off of the internet it's called 8-bit wonder and we're just gonna select the color okay scale down let's get this properly it's a little bit more scaled up just gonna place it right here and there's a shadow so we're gonna duplicate it just hold alt and drag down and we're gonna change this color to a darker shade so gray as you can see um all right now let's type out the big text over here i'm gonna type out tutorial so robots visuals tutorial I'm gonna use Aaron's comic right here. Let's make this all the way up. Okay, that seems fair. Right now we're gonna take this and duplicate it. We're gonna make it into a smart object. Control T, right click and perspective. We're gonna angle it. Make sure we get this right. Right. Um, we're gonna color overlay and select this color over here just like that I see I'm gonna make a darker background so I can actually see a little bit better all right now that we have this um this font does not match at all if you want to edit it just open it up and we could actually change the font all right that's actually a lot better okay let's get on to doing this shape within the text let's rush rest layer style Create new layer, hold alt and click here to clip right into the text layer. And now we are just going to draw these shapes. You could do whatever you want. Just close it off, hit shape. Now that we have this, what you want to do is you want to just make a new layer, clip it in, use your pencil and finish off the rest of the shapes. Now that we have this, I'm going to bring back the yellow background. All right, select the top layer, right? Hold shift, click on the bottom one, control G, control J, and then control E. So we have a rasterize layer. Make a new layer right underneath it. Hold control, click here. It's gonna make a selection around it. Go to select, modify, expand by 40. I think 40 is fine. It's about 40, right? It's actually a little bit too much. Okay, let's try maybe 30. Let's see how that looks. All right, 30 is fine. You wanna do alt backspace. All right, that's gonna um, make the background part, the stroke. Now you wanna make a new layer because there are gaps right here. So you just wanna finish these off. Sit shape. Okay, and this part looks terrible, so I'm gonna fix it right now. Now you make this all into one, just control E. And now we are going to copy this background color. Just like that. Okay, now double click, go to drop shadow. As you can see, we have this. Make the color the same as this one. All right, just like that. So we can move this down. Just like that. We can move this down. I think that's about right, maybe. That's fair. Right, yeah. All right, now I'm just going to apply a light drop shadow to this one. So here we go. So now I'm going to take this. I'm going to duplicate it. 
and restaurant is there so open it back up and add another drop shadow and this time it's going to be a regular one so like this and turn it up and lower it back down so let me see let me see something like that and now we're just going to use a rectangle tool right we're going to make a shape like this Okay, and change the color to this. Now let's place this behind our text. So it goes here, and it goes into the text. Okay, make this shorter. I think, yep. This is supposed to be shorter a little bit than the text. So we're gonna put it right here. And then hold control and just drag these points in. Just like that. I think that's fine. And now, um, let's see. Okay. Now we can just duplicate this. Now we could take a right angle tool again. Let's make these little, drag these little guidelines to help us. Let's make a right angle right over here. Let's copy the color and just go perspective and drag this inwards now as far as these clouds in the background goes you just use ellipses and just put them together But um, I think this looks pretty good. And this part is very easy. You just pen tool this or you just use a right angle and just angle it. Um, add an inner shadow. You should be fine. If this video helps you at all, make sure you leave a like. If you have any specific tutorial requests, make sure you comment it down below in the comment section. I will see you all in the next video. Make sure you check out our website as well. And uh, yeah, that's it.